Guys, so we'll do the usual barbie today for 10.30, please. Um, questions to the mic, and if we could have your name and organisation for the question. Pep, good afternoon. Uh, ben Ransom from Sky. Um, we saw huge celebrations earlier in the week, and tomorrow you've got the prospect of winning the first ever domestic treble in this country. Men's. How much does that prospect of, of making history excite you? Uh, the first time men's, women's, uh, they won it. Um, yeah, it's a final. It's uh, the final and and hopefully we can celebrate it uh, not just the Premier League, the Carabao Cup, the Community Shield, also the Cup. Saturday, Sunday and especially Monday with our people here in Manchester. UEFA yesterday completed its investigations into the allegations that the club has broken financial fair play rules to get itself into this position. Does that in any way undermine any of the success that you're having on the field? Well, I said many times, so I trust with the club, with the people. So I know we won the Premier League and the last two or three days just talk about that. So we are innocent until proven, I'm sorry. So I said many times, we did something wrong and we decide we did something wrong, okay, we'll be banned or we'll be punished or whatever they decide, but we are innocent right now. So I know the people are waiting for be guilty, you know, but until now that until proven, all the human beings sometimes it's difficult to understand it because all around the world doesn't happen quite often, but the people is innocent until, you know, and to be proven so but that is what it is we accept it and but i spoke with the chairman i spoke with the ceos and i know exactly what happened i know exactly what they did and i trust a lot of them so that's all uefa has the power to impose a one-year champions league ban i said Would what i said so after what happened i'm not going to answer any questions more about that because in the past i answered my opinion now my opinion i think it's completely clear because everything is suggesting what would happen what would happen so i don't know we are innocent today so we'll see in the future but you're happy you'll accept any punishment that uefa do deem fit i said what i said so we are innocent so i don't know what's going to happen about the wifa the wifa are working with the lawyers from from Man City, Man City is open to expose all the papers, all the documents, all what they have done. And after that, so I am not a lawyer. I don't know what happened there in the, you know, behind the scenes, in the fact of the meetings they have with the lawyers of both sides. So what happened is going to happen. Uh, but Simon, we are innocent right now today. Uh, Pep Simon Stone, BBC. Um, on the way back from Brighton, um, there was some social media posted from your flight back of the players singing a song, which some people, I know not Manchester City, but some people have taken to be offensive towards Liverpool. What, what is your response to that? So it was not offence when the people said about what happened in Highbury or the guy who happened in Rome. Do you think someone can, can just for one second imagine we could offend about what this tragedy is about, about Liverpool people, all the Liverpool world? Uh, it's incredible. So to be happy, we're happy for ourselves, not because we are for the other one. So if someone was offended for another issue, so I'm sorry, apologize, but never was our intention. We celebrate for ourselves the happy it was to win, you know, to win the Premier League, this difficult Premier League against one incredible, incredible contender. As, as the manager of this football club and the most public person involved with this football club. Are you concerned that someone who was on a private plane with your players has thought it necessary to put social media of yeah. what happened on that flight out? Yeah, you know my opinion about the social media, but we are not the only one so to do that. But uh, yeah, of course, we are living in that, in that position. And 
and that is what it is. So I am here, the public person of Manchester City about the statement, but every three days I'm here. I would prefer not be here every three days, believe me. And I would prefer another people, you know, work more than me, but it's what it is, so I have to accept it. Pep Domingan is talk sport. <coughs> Pep, just on the, the cup final itself, your side, obviously on course for a treble, will go in as overwhelming favourites against another Premier League side. How hard does that make your job now for the, this final game with nobody really giving Watford much of a chance against you? It's what it is after what happened last season. We are starting that season, nobody could beat us. So when Liverpool win the Premier League, who had been an incredible achievement. When Manchester City win, it's oh, it's OK, it's achievement. So it's what it is. So only I can say we won the most incredible Premier League ever in terms of results, in terms of contenders, the competitors. And we are incredibly satisfied. But at the same time, we celebrated for a short time and we were back to business the last two or three days to focus in Watford because I know how difficult it was. The game at home when we anticipate the first goal, when a run decision for the referee 1-0 and how difficult it was to attack them, the quality they have in, in, in front with Pereira, with uh, Hughes and especially Delufeu and Dini. So the long boss to Dini is almost unstoppable even with our top central defenders. It's uh, Maybe it's the best striker to setting the balls for his mates in the long balls. Of course, with Dakure and, and Capoue, especially Dakure, how he arrived to the 18-yard box, the player box to box, a manager we had. We handled really well the defensive side. Um, the set pieces with Colebas is an incredible taker. So we'll be a, we know we spoke about the players. Hopefully, still we can be one more day focused in the last game of the season to win, you know, to, to compete like the FA Cup deserved to, to be champion again, again, to be champion. You mentioned Liverpool there, but if you do get the treble, because you said prior to the last game of the season that you felt everyone in the media wanted Liverpool to win, do you think you'll get the love that your team deserves if you complete the treble? Deserve what? Will you, will you get the love that you feel your team deserves if you No, 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 we are love. We, we are. So you do, you do feel love? Yeah, of course. Our fans love it a lot, <laughs> so they are incredibly satisfied. So the the the, you know, you judge the season right now. You know, when we win the tomorrow, the the season is extraordinary. If we don't win, I think that season is extraordinary. But we could have lost the Premier League because for one point against the Liverpool we could have lost, and we cannot win. We cannot be extraordinary, but the fact would have been the same. So the effort would have been the same for one line, for one decision, for something you can win the league or you cannot win the league or you can win the FIFA Cup but you cannot win. The important is the judgment we have done that season. That is the most important thing. Of course, the fact to take the back-to-back -back Premier League and again being in the, in, the, in the FIFA Cup final to win four titles in one season so it would be incredible, of course, with that. But... Honestly, it's not going to change my judgment in the team if tomorrow win or not win. With all that, though, just in mind, with all the achievements that you've already ma made here, and, and obviously it could be a brilliant season, what would the challenge be here now? Because you inevitably will be linked with other jobs. Juventus, you'll be linked with that. Because is there a bigger challenge somewhere else, or is the challenge still here? Why? How many times I have to say, I'm not going to go to Juventus at Turin. I'm not going to move to Italy. I'm going to stay if they want two more seasons here, have a contract. I'm not going to move. I'm satisfied working with this club, with these people here. I'm not going everywhere. So that is what I feel today. But the football changed a lot and the results cannot be good. The next season maybe will be not good, but next season I will be manager for Man City. No, I said many times. Uh, hello, Pep. <coughs> Henry Gil, de Catalunya Radio. Um, these days, there's, uh, there's quite a lot of talk about the future of uh, a player, a Griezmann, which has been related with uh, Manchester City. Is this information true? Yeah, from the people from Barcelona, don't worry, guys. Manchester City is not going to buy, to buy Anton Griezmann. We cannot afford it. So for people from Barcelona, don't worry. We are not interested with Griezmann. Um, in your first season, you came into a, for a little bit of criticism over tackling, and uh, you said you're not the right man for the tackling. Um, this season, you've won the title and you've made the fewest tackles 
out of an old Premier League sides. Does that give you a lot of satisfaction? And how close were you to changing your philosophy on that? <laughs> no, 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 it's not the fact that I am right on, on this person said uh, without tackles you can no win the Premier League. I'm right, he was not right. No, it's because he was born in a culture way the football and I came from for another culture. Of course, tackles is an important part of the of the game and be aggressive is an important part of the game. I think uh, Stan Collymore said that for that fact that uh, we should be more aggressive, but that is not... Uh, that is not the real point in football. So when the most important thing is the tackles, tackles football will be boring. So, but we need to be aggressive, of course. We have to defend well. If not, it's not impossible. And I think we defend well. We scored. We conceded just 21 goals, Liverpool 20. So it's incredible. Both sides. It was incredible. The few amounts. We are the team with less shoots conceded. Don't do in tackle. Um, but it's not the fact like I win, I'm right, or when I lose in Leicester, he was right. It's, that is, you know, always the winner is right. So it's not, not sense. It's what you believe. And he believed because he played in this country from a long time ago and he played in that way, you know, who would be successful season in important, in important teams. So he believed in that is important. I don't believe it. So that's simple. simple. Hello, Pep. Andy Hampson from the Press Association. Um, it's been a while since Benjamin Mendy was involved. Has he been injured or otherwise just not selected? No, he's not selected. He's not, all right, he's not fit. will be fit next season. All right, so he's, he's, he's injured, is he? Yeah. Oh, yeah okay. yeah. For right. final, he's not available. Okay. And, and is Fernandinho going to be available tomorrow? We're training today and yesterday, yeah. Okay, thank you. Any more from Embargo? Okay, uh, 10.30 Embargo then.